How you doing fight fans? This is Boxing Knowledge coming at ya once again with my uh, post fight thoughts on the Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Juan Manuel Marquez uh, fight. Um, I apologize for uh, doing this video one week after the bout, uh, but I've been having some uh, issues with my computer so I haven't been able to upload my videos in a timely manner. Uh, but moving on, uh, I saw the fight, uh, all of it. I've watched it three times already. Um, uh, no surprise, guys. Um, first, I'd like to start off by saying I thought it was a very boring fight. Uh, in my uh, pre-fight analysis, uh, I had mentioned that it was going to be a boring fight because uh, both fighters were counterpunchers by nature. Um, I believe it was uh, boring. What added a little bit of excitement... Uh, to the fight was the fact that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was coming back after a 21 month layoff. So that added a little bit of electricity in the air. We were all curious to see how his skill would uh, would show in the fight. Uh, we were um, uh, kind of excited to see uh, Floyd back and he did not disappoint. He looked fabulous. He was very strong. His defense was uh, better than ever. Um, guys, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a surprise at all. Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr., first off, uh, at the pre-fight weigh-in, weighed two pounds over the 144-pound uh, catch weight that they had agreed to, okay? As we all know by now, he was fined $300,000 per pound. So total, he had to pay uh, Marquez $600,000 on top of his purse, okay? So at the pre-fight uh, weigh-in, he was two pounds over, okay, and he refused to disclose his weight uh, at fight night, okay. We all know that Juan Manuel Marquez weighed 148 pounds at fight night, so it's only logical to assume that Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, weighed well above that. I'd like to say, I want to speculate that Floyd Mayweather Jr. weighed at least five more pounds than Juan Manuel Marquez on fight night, okay. He looked bigger, we all knew he was stronger, okay? He had the longer reach. We all knew he was faster. Um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. had to win this fight, and he had to win big. And sure enough, he did. He pummeled Juan Manuel Marquez for 12 rounds. In my opinion, uh, JMM did not win any rounds. Um, he did knock uh, down Juan Manuel Marquez in the second round. But again, just like I stated in my previous boxing analysis, Juan Manuel Marquez is boxing intelligence to not allow him to be put in a, in a position where he could be knocked out and receive a cumulative punishment. Um, what can I say? Floyd looked great, but he fought the best lightweight in the world, okay? Juan Manuel Marcus, prior to this bout, never weighed, never weighed more than 135, okay? And we all know that Mayweather is the bigger, stronger man, and he's faster. He's got all the advantages that count, right? and in my opinion, he, ma he matches... Um, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez's boxing intelligence. So having said all that, um, what can I say? Um, I guess, you know, the, the, the fight outcome uh, happened as I predicted. Um, but then again, no surprise there. Uh, we all know what Juan Manuel Marquez was, was heading into. I did not let um, HBO 24-7 clips of Juan Manuel Marquez looking fabulous and during sparring uh, sway me or dismay me from the facts, okay, that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was going to win this fight, okay, and he was going to win big. He should have knocked Juan Manuel Marquez out. He had all the advantages to do so. I don't know why he didn't do it. Nonetheless, I don't want to take any credit away from Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, he looked great, um, and uh, I'm very excited for the possible showdown. Uh, between him and Manny Pacquiao, assuming that Manny Pacquiao gets past Miguel Cotto, which uh, will be a very difficult fight for him. But in the end, I believe that Manny will pre will prevail by KO or unanimous decision. Uh, obviously, I'll take the KO over the UD. Um, guys, I, I also uh, want to take advantage, um, and I want to say some uh, post uh, I guess one of my subscribers uh, wrote to me and, and asked if I would make a video uh, about the controversial statement said by 
Floyd Mayweather Sr. Okay, saying that Manny Pacquiao is, Manny Pacquiao is on steroids. Um, like I mentioned in my other videos about about Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather Jr. I mean, I'm sorry, Manny Pacquiao is a fighter that comes along only once every few generations. Okay, he's extremely gift gifted. He's like a Usain Bolt type of athlete. Uh, we all know who Usain Bolt is. Uh, he's the current 100 and 200 meter uh, world record champion and double gold medalist, the Jamaican sprinter. Um, they tested him thousands of times over uh, for steroids. It has not happened. Uh, uh, they have, he has not tested positive. I believe that Manny Pacquiao is clean. Obviously, everything is speculation. Uh, no one really knows whether he is or not. But I have no reason to suspect or believe that Manny Pacquiao is doping. I have no reason to suspect that he is taking any performance enhancing drugs. I have no reason to suspect that Manny Pacquiao is involved in any illegal activity um, in regards to, uh, again, taking substances which uh, in turn make him stronger. It's hard to believe that someone so small is taking out guys that are so much bigger than him. It's not logical. I understand why someone would think that, but in, at the end of the day, no one has any proof. No one has uh, nothing, not even circumstantial evidence to support this. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, I think that Floyd Mayweather Jr., um, you know, uh, regardless of all the, I'm sorry, Floyd Mayweather Sr., regardless of all his money and all his power and all his influence, uh, is just a man that doesn't really think about uh, how his statements are going to uh, make him look out to be okay so to end this video uh, I would just say I think it's a lot of bollocks um, I think they're very stupid comments it doesn't surprise me Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a man that, that came from from abject poverty okay just because he has money doesn't mean he's changed his mentality or the way that he is uh, I am a little surprised just a little bit surprised uh, that he would uh, even play around with something like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. So, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's just keep hoping that uh, Manny Pacquiao will get past Miguel Cotto so that we can see a mega fight between Pretty Boy Floyd and Pac-Man. So, um, that's it, guys. Uh, subscribe.